All right, let's go up to File, Open Scene, and let's open up the last file, which was 04 Skinned. All right, so we left off, we were working on the arm, and now let's go ahead and work on the hand here. I'm going to just uh, rotate the hand joint, just bend it down a little bit here. And let's see if we can't um, start to bring back some of the, the mesh here. So I'm going to click on my paint skin weights, and I'm going to right click, let's see, make sure I'm on the right influence here. And I'll double click on the paint skin weights tool, and we're going to add some influence onto this area here. So I'm going to bring this, the shape back to the wrist here. bump this up a little bit. I think that's looking a little bit better. And um, I think at this point, let's uh, smooth this out. So I click on my smooth brush, bring the uh, opacity up. I want it to be more influential. I want to Try and get this stuff squared away. Smooth out the folds here. And that's looking a lot better. So let me take a look here. I'll try and uh, rotate this a little more. So let's see. Let's um, see if we can't smooth this out a little bit. Go a little bit easier on that fold. Okay. Bring this back down. I'm pretty satisfied with that. So I'll take the rotation on this wrist joint and... Uh, bring it back to zero. So here uh, on the uh, thumb, we just want to check and make sure that it is in fact forming the way we want it to. Looks pretty good. So I'll just hit Z and bring that back. I'll take the fingers. Usually the fingers I don't spend a lot of time on. Um, I'm going to be using this character for um, a lot of like running and jumping and stuff. I'm not going to be having the character pick up a whole bunch of stuff. It's not going to be a lot of close-up on the hands. So you can spend more time painting the weights on the fingers, but um, it's basically the same process as what we've been doing uh, in previous videos. So I'm not going to cover that in the video because I think it'll just put people to sleep. So you can probably leave the fingers away it is, unless of course you're you're really focusing on the hands and your character, then you want to go in and, and paint those weights um, more specifically. Okay, so now that we've kind of gone through the arm and the leg, now what I want to do is I want to mirror the weights across to the other side. So I'll select the mesh here, and I'm going to go to uh, skin, and then I'm going to go to uh, mirror skin weights. Okay, there's some options for this. So I'll um, go back, to, I'll reset. Oh, it looks like that is the default here. So we, we do want to mirror across YZ. We want to go positive to negative. So we've been working on the positive side of X. You can see right here, the uh, red line shows us that from the center, our origin of our scene going this way, this is positive X. So we've been working on the positive side of X. So we will mirror from positive to negative across the YZ plane. I'll hit apply right here. And now what I'll do is I'll check the uh, joints. So I'll move this foot up and see is it bending uh, properly. And it looks like it is. I'll uh, rotate the ankle here back. Okay. That looks okay. Uh, I'll take the leg here, go back. It's bending okay. So it, we have successfully uh, mirrored um, 
our weights across. All right, let's check the head now. Um, the head uh, is split down the middle here, so let's see what's happening when we rotate. Okay, it looks like everything is um, working pretty good here. Uh, well, let's see. Let's see if we maybe should smooth this out a little bit in here. So I'll go to my paint skin weights um, and let's select the head joint. So I'll right click, go to select influence, and let's try and smooth this out in here. And uh, let's rotate the head to the other side here. And do the same thing. I'll select the mesh, click on paint skin weights, and let's smooth this out. We don't want that little bump in the shoulder there. Okay. All right. That looks pretty good. Uh, I'm going to change the rotate Z value back to zero and let's rotate front to back on the head here. All right, so here, as he folds his head, pushes his head back, we've got a fold in the mesh right here. So let's uh, bring this back a little bit and then we'll turn on our paintbrush, increase the size of my brush by holding down the B key. I've got smooth selected here. I'm going to just paint through here and try and smooth out that transition so that when he uh, moves his head back, it won't look so funky. All right. That looks pretty good. Um, I'll paint a little more, increase size my brush, and just kind of add a little more smooth to it. Okay, let's um, rotate forward here. Same thing, we're getting a little bit of folding going on here. So let's turn on our brush and try and smooth it out as best as possible here. Just stay, sticking to the front of the, the model here. All right, I'll push it forward a little bit more. It seems to be okay. Maybe the corners over here. Let's see if we can't um, smooth out the uh, shoulder area in here. Okay. All right, let's, um, I think we're doing okay on this. All right, I'm gonna zero out the head right here. And let's go ahead and uh, double check our arms because we've been kind of painting and smoothing out the transition on the head to the body. Let's check and make sure our arms are still okay. So I'm primarily concerned with the movement of the arm as it swings. I want to make sure that when we do a walk or a run that these arms can swing without it looking too, it should look, you know, pretty normal. Okay, so that looks good still. So that's good. I'll just check the other side here. I want to make sure everything is still deforming the way it should. Okay, that looks good as well. All right. Let's take a look at our, our legs here, because um, we kind of painted the pelvis, but we didn't do the hip, jo point, um, the hip joints. So let me just select the mesh here, and we've got a little bit of folding going on here. Let's take our smooth brush, I'll right click on the hip joint, and go to Select Influence. And I'm going to paint this, try and just 
get this to smooth out a little bit. Increase my influence here. It's looking really nice. Okay. So now I'll take this hip joint and I'll rotate it further back. And we've got a fold there, but it uh, looks pretty natural, I think. Mm -hmm. So now I'll rotate the leg forward and we'll kind of see as I do that. Not too far forward. Let's see here. I'm going to change everything back to zero. And do it just on one axis, going forward on Z. All right, so I've rotated this forward. I'm going to now select the mesh, select my brush, and I'm going to try and smooth out our transition here. OK. So let me now bring the leg forward even more. We've got a kind of a fold in the pelvis there, but nothing too out of the ordinary. So I'm satisfied with the leg on that side. Okay. All right. So let me zero this out. And we'll switch to the opposite leg here. All right, so let me rotate this back down a little bit and a little more here. And I'll start. Uh, let's see. I need to select the mesh, select the paintbrush, and then I need to select the correct joint. So now we're working on the right leg. So I'll start to smooth this out a little bit. And then I'll move this joint up some more. And then I'll smooth it out some more here. OK. Great. And as we move up, it's going to eventually fold. And that's OK. So let's rotate this to the other side. And let's take a look at, we're at about 19 degrees or 20 degrees or so. And uh, let's take a look at this. I'll select my paintbrush. Just kind of smooth this out a little bit. All right, and I will rotate up. Okay, looks good. So we basically we want the leg to move, but we don't want anything on the pelvis moving. And this looks pretty like it's deforming pretty pretty well. So let me zero out everything here. Make sure all of our joints are at zero. Just checking the channel box over here making sure everything's at zero. Yeah, it looks good. So, just do a final check on everything here. That looks a little funky right there. 
Let's see here. Let's um increase our brush size here. And uh, let's see, what is causing this? I'll select the influence here and that's not gonna help us out right there. So let's try a different joint. Aha. So we're on spine two right now. I just wanna kinda smooth this out a little bit here. So let me check by rotating to the other side. Yes, same thing. So let's go back and select spine two and try and smooth this out a little bit here. Okay. So we'll try this uh, one more time. Seems to be okay. All right. Rotate our shoulders. You don't want to rotate the shoulders too much because it's not something that you can actually do a whole lot of movement on. So you don't want to freak out if you can't do a huge range of movement there. Okay, that looks good. All right. Okay. All right, looking good. Double check the head. Let me just rotate just this way. And looks good. Let's do side to side. Uh huh. Yeah, okay. Double check. I think we checked the feet actually already, so I think we're done. So let's go ahead and save this file. I'll go to File, Save Scene As, and this is going to be 05 skinned. All right, so I'll hit Save, and in the next video, we'll start uh, building controllers for the feet.